Chair Shot Reality on Wrestling Inc. Binge watch the final episode. This is the finale of Chair Shot Reality after 430 episodes and over eight years. We thank all of you for the tremendous support. I don't think we had any idea that it would get to this point, that one, one pilot filming would turn into what it's turned into. Uh, more final thoughts coming up later uh, in the future videos. She is the queen of the silver screen, Katie Arquette. He's Josh. All right, Pete Eisenberg. Wow. Hey, hey, look at this face. Brian Gullish, <laughs> look at you. It's like the final Nitro. I <laughs> Sting, Ric Flair. That took a whopping 30 seconds to get the Sting reference. Right? I love it. There was an over-under going on. You thought I missed this show? Not for anything. I missed there, it. There was an over-under going on. Show. I lost the over-under, Justin. <laughs> I went over 30 seconds because I thought you'd talk for about a minute and a half. God. It's an historic night oh, on Chair right, well, Shot Reality. Uh, well, Brian, we're going to let you kick this off here. Uh, it's all about Dean Ambrose. Uh, do you like this new gimmick that we are seeing of Dean Ambrose? Honestly, Dean Ambrose... I think he has so much potential. Do I like the new gimmick? I think it's still too early to tell. And, and one of the things that we're going to discuss as well is the whole Renee Young bringing her into the scenario. But as far as Dean Ambrose, we've got to let this thing develop. And the biggest concern I have, and Josh, you might want to answer this, is can this carry over with Seth Rollins to and through WrestleMania? Because I think the end goal for this is still a far way off. So everyone, a lot of people are bitching about what's going on yeah. with this gimmick with Dean Ambrose. I still think it's too early to tell. I think it's too early to tell as well. Um, I don't like the fact that he's calling like the WWE Universe like, oh, this is such an infection to me, and he's going to the doctor's office. I think it's a little too forced comedy. It's too much of WWE trying to go back to the Attitude Era and like doing things like that to try to get heat. Um, but I agree with Brian. Surprising, right? But I do think the <laughs> Dean Ambrose, uh, it's too early to tell because you're not sure where it's going to go from here. Let me ask you this, Justin. Dean Ambrose loses at TLC, does not become Intercontinental Champion. Where does it go from there then? It, it, because it, it, it seems like this is already the big buy-off. This is the big payday is him and Seth Rollins. In the history of Chair Shot Rally for all the CSR historians, Dean Ambrose was one of those projects that I counted down and counted down and counted down. And of course he debuts when I'm in, and I'm in Hawaii with my phone Seth Rollins off over guy. Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> so I missed it all. I was counting down for Dean Ambrose. And I've been, I'll say it right here, I've been, I've been relatively disappointed in his WWE run. Yeah overall not necessarily on his fault but just the overall use of him if dean ambrose does not win the intercontinental title at tlc if he loses the first real significant match in the heel turn the turn where he, he turns on his brother seth rollins if he does not beat seth rollins by hook or by crook then then this is a failure mm -hmm. especially because I and, I and i do believe this report that there that there was a report out there that dean amber or um, excuse me seth rollins was on on pace to drop the ic title to elias and then they decided to change that. So they already know Seth Rollins doesn't need the IC title. There's probably bigger things in the future for Seth Rollins. If they do not give a win and a title win to Dean Ambrose at the TLC, major problem. But isn't it interesting that, you know, Katie, Seth Rollins drops the Intercontinental title. So just let's look at Seth Rollins going potentially into 2019. And Brian, you can also chime in here too. Is Seth Rollins drops the IC title. You say there's bigger things for him. He's already had that big grudge match against Triple H, right? He's already won the, or the World Championship at WrestleMania, right? What's next for Rollins after the IC title. That's what I was just about to say. I, I don't know what would be next. This is what's so difficult listening. about Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins because I, I don't think I don't think Dean should have turned on him because now they have nowhere, they have no uphill, they have nowhere to go from here. I mean, either way, it, like you guys said, if Dean Ambrose loses, there's nowhere to go from this point on, especially since his character change is so new and we don't know what to expect from it, so it may be another downhill slope. But then you have, if Seth Rollins uh, loses, where does he go? He has had all these big moments and mm. these big opportunities. So it's where do you put him well, in? Because there's no guarantee that Roman Reigns will come back. We hope he, that he does um, because that could just put him and Seth on tag team mm -hmm. again. So where does Seth Rollins go from here? I, I Royal, honestly don't know. The good thing about this time of year, Katie, is that they get ready to reset Royal Rumble. So if Seth Rollins lo loses, he goes in the Royal Rumble. Even if he doesn't win it, he puts yeah. on a, a, a Shawn Michaels type performance yes. front to back. Um, that's fine. Uh, Seth Rollins, but to your point, Josh, Seth Rollins does have a little bit of that Randy Orton problem mm -hmm. that Randy Orton had about 15, 10, 15 years ago. He accomplished so much. But the thing mm -hmm. with Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins is part, in a point in his career right now where he's still young enough that when you start bringing these NXT talents up, there are some feuds that could be there, baby. Well, <laughs> like I said, that there feud. All right, uh, Renee Young. Do, do, she, do, do they just need to stop being weird about this and just acknowledge that? Listen, his, it, they, they, they talk that she's. Yes, you know, it's no that's secret wife, on so. camera. It's no secret on camera. Yeah. K has been fro broke, broken. Renee Young, Dean Ambrose, they're together. 
I have an interesting scenario, and I'm sure it's been talked about many times, but if you want to do something with Renee Young, maybe have her come in. And I'm not saying this is a Matt Hardy edge situation with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, but maybe have it to where Renee Young gets cozy with Seth Rollins. It Ooh. pisses off Dean Ambrose, <laughs> but it's a setup. And Dean and Renee, then she turns on Not a bad I don't hate that. She yeah. turns on Seth, and now that. you've got a, I don't a hate very it. hot heat couple with Renee and Dean. I don't hate it. Ooh. Not a bad idea. As long as Corey Graves can tone down the heel, <laughs> yeah. the heel commentary and Renee Young can kind of take jabs and fire in. Yeah. Can I, can I, not hating the idea. Can I can I just touch on that for a minute? Renee Young, honestly, when it's she last show, we got all the time. When the world. she got <laughs> that Paul might think otherwise. <laughs> when she got that opportunity, I thought she started off really slow and she was there because they wanted to give a woman an opportunity. But then I felt like after one or two months she really came into her own. She spoke up a lot more on, on camera, on the microphone. She wasn't just there. But now I feel like it's almost like she's regressing a bit from her peak. She's already hit her peak yeah. on Raw as a broadcaster. And maybe this is an opportunity to get her involved in more storylines. Yeah. Off camera. Well, I think that's. I, I agree. Yeah. I think the first three weeks she was chiming in here and there, putting in a few small sentences. She and then also really had. Her she, own. Al she also only. Had, she had to follow the coach, which wasn't that hard to do. No yeah. offense to the coach. Uh, it wasn't his yeah. best stuff. So if she just talked less than the coach did, she was going to get a, a thumbs up. I mean, let's be that's honest, not. Dude. Yeah. Again, I like, like the coach, but that was like, not his listen, best work. The yeah. standard is Jerry the King Lawler and Jim Ross, and you're never going to beat that. All right, uh, XFL. Who wants to talk some XFL? We're gonna do some XFL talk. We still come, uh, still to come. Plus, Josh and I are gonna cap off the final video. We're gonna do a nice old classic Eisenberg Labar debate, talking about. Get ready to get your diapers because they're gonna be leaking yourself. Well, you are. That's you had not nothing even. prepared. Then. That that didn't sound. Woo! Correct. He's gonna leak himself. Ben, nope, watch. We got more to come here. Chair shot reality. It didn't work. No. Not even close. No.